Hey all, Matt Blick here with Hatford once again. Excited to show you the next step in our process. And so this one is called the wireframes. And so it, it starts getting into the design phase. Um, it's not the actual designing of um, the website online, but it is the next step in taking everything that we've built up to this point and starting to turn it into a, a very skeletal structure of what your website should look like. So getting right into it here. So this would be taking that first home page that we talked about in the last video. Uh, it's, it's more of a one page home page type deal. Um, we have the links and the logo. This would be the up top here that, that hero banner section, um, which has several um, pieces that rotates uh, if the client wants it. From there, we have that three product highlight area. Um, there you'll see with the text and then also the button um, as one thing that I, I talked to the client about is these buttons will actually be smaller. Um, these are fairly large sections on the website. Um, and so want to make sure they don't get caught up in this is exactly how it's going to look, but this is the direction that we're taking the design. Moving on down. So here's the quick about us section. So as you can see, it's very basic. Um, it represents, you know, pictures, logos, sections here a product picture but it doesn't get into big details um, that is something that we do in the design phase so this is just giving the client an idea and, sh and taking that brand manual taking that that site map and then starting to put it into visuals from there our customers so this would be a section of showing just cool little photos in terms of just all the different customers they've worked with gives them a sense of, of just the network, the amount of clients that they've serviced. Um, from there, their services. So this, these, these little block boxes here um, are different logos. And so it allows you as the visitor to click on the different service. It takes you to that service section within the website. Uh, but this shows visually um, the breakdown in terms of their, their top five services that they provide. From there, a basic contact us page, you're gonna have another image or product there in that spot. Um, and then of course, you're gonna have your footer section here. Um, the footer won't look just like that, but it's just to giving them an, an example of what a footer would be, and it would be in that section there, be in that spot, um, possible design aspects. So that's the home page. Once we go from there, we go to the secondary page, which is right here, and this would be, um, the look um, for that. Um, so we have, say, for example, IntelliRow. Um, you're going to have your title, you're going to have your text. And then, of course, these would be linkable logos that take you to that certain section within this website page, a secondary page. So if you click on option one, it's going to take you here. You're going to see content information. You're going to see a photo. You're going to see some other photos down here. If you click on this second option, that's going to take you, the idea is to have it take you to the second section. So if there's three different options that the client wants you to know about their product, is going to take you to each section that's available there. Um, same thing with this section here, it's just a copy of what we had before, but it gives the client an idea of the layout, at the footer down there, of, of this is the, the direction that, we, that we're going to take your website it allows us to start a conversation with the client so they can say, hey, we like this layout or we don't like that layout, we don't like how the photos are, or we do love that, that photo collage at the bottom, let's enhance it in a little bit of way, or we need to provide you know, some more buttons for people to buy our product or, or that kind of um, opportunity. So this allows the conversation to go deeper in terms of the design before we actually get to that design phase of the website. From there, there's a separate page where we need products. And so this would be the monitoring section of this website. Excuse me. Um, and so we wanted to have those four different aspects lined up so that um, the client could see or the visitor could see each product before they go deeper. And they can click on those. It would take them to say, boom, this one here called Smart Farmer. And so that can allow them to purchase, it can allow them to find for more, more information, call um, the actual client, which is the CTA, which is what you want them to do, um, get it more information. Uh, but this allows them to set up in a clean way um, 
the website aspect for each product that they have. So this is just to give you a quick overview in terms of in terms of the um, wireframes and what they look like. Um, they're very basic. There isn't color involved, but it gives you a sense of here's how we see your design going forward. Here's what here's what we're envisioning each different main ingredient of the website looking like. Um, so guys, like I said before, um, we're excited to have you on this journey to, to discover our process. Um, the next phase is actually the, the design phase, and we'll show you what we've done with some websites. Um, if you have any inf information or you want to know some information, we'll have it below for you to contact us. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to reach out. We're excited to work with you on your content and your brand and make you successful going forward. Um, have a great day. We'll be in touch and we're excited to show you the next video.